Gosh, friends, let's go back to, uh, gosh, I think it would have been the summer of 1950. If it wasn't 1950, it was 1951. I know I was only four or five years old. Wasn't, wasn't very old at all. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I think my granddad and I had just come out of the uh, Aldenary Milk Barn. It was um, at the intersection of Route 10 and Route 202. Uh, I'm not sure what's there now, but back in the day, there was this barn. And all that industrial park was actually a dairy farm. Yeah. And there it may have been for the Aldenary Milk Company. I'm not entirely sure. But there was this barn, and they it was outfitted to be an ice cream parlor. Perhaps the biggest ice cream parlor I have ever seen. I've never seen one bigger since. Um, took up quite a bit of space. They had a lot of kids working there, uh, you know, wearing the little paper hats, and they'd be making, uh, oh, ice cream uh, sundaes and such uh, for folks, and it was pretty cool to, to go there. Granddad would go there and quite often buy uh, not a gallon's worth of ice cream. He'd buy one of those tubs. I think, actually, I could be wrong, but I think they were five-gallon containers of ice cream, and we'd uh, take that. He'd get them... I guess he'd buy in bulk, and he had a freezer up at his uh, log cabin up at Lake Lenape. No, log cabin. No, an actual log cabin made of logs and stuff, yeah. Uh, overlooked the lake. Pretty cool place. Still there. It's still there even to this day, yes. And, um, and, and we'd, while we were riding along, you know, we'd gotten, uh, I think we got two containers, Two big containers of ice cream. We're heading up to uh, Lake Lenape. And I don't know, we're yakking about this and that. Granddad told me, of course, he was always telling me yarns, which was great. Loved hearing them. And uh, we, uh, he, uh, <laughs> he, he said how he was a pilot. Now, I think he might have been during World War I. Yeah, I, he may have been, may have flown seaplanes. I, I, again, Boy, I, you know, I, I never really got proof. I never saw a photo of him with a plane or anything, but that's what he told me. So maybe, I don't know. I, I guess you could look up his record, couldn't you? I suppose, I suppose. In any case, I wouldn't know how, but I guess you could. But anyway, so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, he was a pilot. His granddad. He was also an African explorer. Uh, again, according to him, <laughs> I don't think he ever set foot on the continent, but <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what he told me. Uh, and, uh, he, um, and I don't know, I would, when I heard about the pilot thing though, I said, boy, that'd be fun. Fly a plane up and down, you know, I'm going like that in the car. And he says, well, you like that up and down around? Yeah. He, I said, yeah, boy, I'd, I'd tell you, I'd fire those machine guns, and I, I, you know, all this, doing loops, I'm going to do loops, and uh, come down, almost touch the ground, and go right up, straight up, and he says, well, I got something for you, I think you'd like a lot, let's go, uh, let's go over to Bertrand's Island, Bertrand's Island, what's that, I, I remember asking him, I had no clue, he says, well, it's a, it's an amusement park, well, up on Lake Apacon, I said, what, Lake Apacon, what, and an amusement park, and I don't know about it. He says, "Well, you're going to find out. Let's go. They got a roller coaster. That's just like riding an airplane. We could uh, we could do that." I said, "Well, sure. What about the ice cream?" He said, ah, "It'll be okay. I'll, I've got it wrapped up, you know." And uh, I guess he we said we won't be long. We'll just ride the roller coaster and we'll hit the road and go uh, get up to uh, the lake. Okay. So uh, we we it's it's. You know, like um, early afternoon, something like that. We go, uh, we pull in. He finds a shady spot so the car don't get too hot. And we, uh, uh, we're in the parking lot at Bertrand's Island. And, of course, right right off the parking lot stood the uh, roller coaster. You know, you could, basically, that's what you saw as you got out of your car. And I'm looking at the cars going up. You know, how they made that noise. That, yeah. And then down it goes. You hear the you hear people screaming and yelling and guys with their hands up in the air and all that baloney. And I'm looking at that and I said, "Whoa, we're going to go on that." 
he says, yeah, he says, I think uh, I, I got some pull here. I think they'll let uh, I think they'll let you ride. You're a little young, but well, what the heck? Come on, let's go see what they say. And I think he slipped someone some money. Yeah, a quarter, 50 cents, something like that. And I, I got let in. <laughs> Led into the ride. There, it was afternoon, so there wasn't a line. So we got right on that car. I remember seeing that car come in. People are getting off. There's girls, all oh, going, oh, oh, like, and I'm, I'm looking at that, thinking, ooh, and they, there's one guy's looking a little green. He's holding his stomach, and uh, <laughs> some guy's getting slapped. He must have got fresh with his girlfriend on the on the ride. Probably tried for a smooch. And uh, all in all, it looked like, uh, you know, big time. I finally hit the big time. Part of the adult world. I'm sure all those folks getting off were teenagers. But anyway, granddad and I, that, that they look like grown-ups to me. Um, so we get on. Uh, granddad, uh, I don't know, I think well, it was probably a dime per person. Something like that back then. He hands a guy uh, a quarter. So gosh, there's a nickel, you know, something in it for him. Uh, for the uh, ride operator. He says, thank you, sir. And uh, I remember they had this big stick. It looked kind of like the stick, uh, you know, that you'd use on a gallows, you know, to drop the, uh, yeah, the, the floor out from under the, uh, the, the uh, yeah, the, the attendee, shall we say. And they, uh, <clears throat> and off we go. And at first, it wasn't too bad. We're just sliding down. It was like we're riding on a sled. And then we go into like a bit of a dark tunnel and around, we kind of make a curve. And you can feel the, the car going dun, 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 like that. And it's dark. And we're, I, I could tell we, we've made a 180. And uh, I'm just kind of sitting there holding the granddad said, hold on to that bar now. And don't you let go of it. Okay. I said, yeah. And he's got... He's got one arm around me and one one on the uh, on the bar too, and we come out of that that like little covered bridge thing, and there's there's the first hill, right as we come out, and we start going up, and you got, and we're going up slower and slower and higher. Oh my God, we're getting up. For, you know, for again, remember, I'm like five years old, four or five, and I'm looking down. My God, it must have been forty feet. You know, I'm, oh, maybe more, maybe more. I don't know. I'm looking there, I said, what? <laughs> we're getting up awful high. And then all of a sudden we're at the top. We were sort of towards the back. Probably not a good place to be because uh, you get a little whiplash back there. The The front of the car is now on the hill. And the momentum is starting to build. Gravity is starting to work its magic, shall we say. And next thing you know, oh my gosh, we're, oh my gosh, all this, the, there was, I can, I can still hear that noise as you go flying and down into the hill. And I saw, oh my God, and, and up, up again. And I think this next hill was slightly lower, but still we, we didn't need the not anymore. We we had the momentum, and we're going pretty darn fast for that hill. And we hit the hump, and it's even worse this time. I mean, oh my gosh! And down again. Oh my heavens! It's just so darn steep. And then up, and you got this. I think at that point you were through the two big hills, and I thought. Oh. But now we get on this. Uh, I think one eighty degree turn. We're up pretty high. It seemed awful high to me, and we going around this. Uh, uh, like, well, we're doing a 180, like that. And it doesn't look too bad. The The uh, area in front of us now, the track in front of us looked reasonably okay. Only a little hill, but we're going so darn fast. And we go down into the valley and up to that little hill. And it was, it was more, it really wasn't a hill. It was a bump. And when we went over the crest of that bump, we went airborne. We, no more gravity. And we're, oh, and, <laughs> and then down, and then one more little hill, and blah, back to the, uh, back to the, uh, the loading, the loading area. And I, oh, oh, oh. and what's granddad do? He says, he gives the guy another quarter. Come on, we'll take another ride. Is that okay? Yes, sir. There you go. And I said, no, no. <laughs> That dark granddad of mine. And we did it again. 
uh, finally, we did get off. I think I must have started looking, a little, well, like maybe I might lose that ice cream cone I ate. And uh, Granddad got, got me off that thing. He says, well, how was that? I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bless his heart, though. It was kind of fun now that I think about it. And I, uh, you know, I, I, as years went by, I got to kind of like that darn roller coaster. But, man, that thing, even though it wasn't a big one, there uh, people do still talk about it in hushed tones. Yes. Yes. It's, uh, it, it was just one of those. And, uh, boy, it sure did rattle. I know, uh, and when I got older, you'd see kids getting thrown off all the time for... Uh, you know, when they when they came back to the loading area for standing or riding with their hands up, that kind of thing. But um, <clears throat> horsing around on the on the you know in the car as it's moving that that kind of thing. Most of the time, though, if you just minded your business, they uh, they were pretty happy to have you on board. If it was a busy night, you couldn't just hand the guy some money and and go again. You had to get back in line, and sometimes the line was you know all the way to. Uh, Oh, gosh, all the way up to Sparta uh, to get on the darn thing. And I don't think the roller coaster counted for nickel night, if I recall. I think you had to pay full price. Well, doggone it, it was the roller coaster. Right. The other rides were a nickel, but doggone. Yeah. I think I've, I've heard rumors where people did fall off the thing and it didn't go well for them. But uh, I think for the most part, it was a, a reasonably safe ride. Yeah. You just, you had to hang on, that's all. Don't be a dummy. <laughs> oh, my. Anyway, it was kind of fun. Good old granddad. Oh, I learned not to brag too much around him after that. Yes, yes. Because you never knew. <laughs> oh, there might be some other ride at Bertrand's Island I didn't know about. Okay, and it sure wasn't the merry-go-round, was it, that, uh, that roller coaster? But it was. I don't know. I have no idea what happened to it. I guess they just knocked it down. Sort of a shame. It was. It would have been good for almost any other uh, amusement park, I would think. Anyway, <sighs> I'll see you later, friends. Thank you. <laughs>